SpaceX's Starship is at the forefront of long-term human space travel and is set to be the first interplanetary human ferry. The Starship is designed to be completely reusable, with elements and parts that don't burn up upon landing. It's much like an airplane, but instead of visiting an exotic island, the passengers would be visiting the red planet, Mars. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a look inside SpaceX's Starship and checking out the cool new features it intends to use to convey the first humans to Mars. The Shiny Outer Exterior SpaceX's Starship is in the testing stages of its reusable spacecraft that will hopefully transport the very first humans safely across space, past the Moon, and onwards to Mars. Musk, the founder of SpaceX, explained the reasons for his vision at a conference in Mexico, stating, History is going to bifurcate along two directions. One path is, we stay on Earth forever, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. The alternative is to become a spacefaring civilization and a multi-planet species, which I hope you would agree is the right way to go. To end this, Musk has made it his mission to take humans to Mars, and SpaceX Starship will be the flagship. Space ship. The rocket and spacecraft measure a total height of 394 feet, taller than the Apollo Saturn V used in the 1970s to launch the first man to the moon. The rocket, also called the Super Heavy Booster, measures around 230 feet. Powered by 28 SpaceX Raptor engines, the rocket is capable of lifting over 100 tons of payload out of Earth's atmosphere and into low Earth orbit. With its thrusters able to produce over 16 million pounds of maximum thrust, the Starship boasts of the most powerful launcher ever built. The boosters will be fueled with over 3,000 tons of sub-zero Methalox rocket fuel. We'll talk about this unorthodox fuel choice in a bit, but before we do, let's talk about the blinding shiny exterior of the Starship. The Starship has a silvery shiny outer exterior, and Musk has disclosed that this Starship is made out of stainless steel. Musk also revealed why stainless steel was his choice against the conventional carbon fiber. He simply stated, it's cheap and fast. Stainless steel costs about $3 per kilogram against the $135 per kilogram for carbon fiber. Not taking into account scrapping would need to be done on the carbon fiber to get the needed shape and size during which about one third of the material would be wasted. Stainless steel is fast in terms of production efficiency and durability. Stainless steel also has a relatively high melting point of about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit due to its thermal mirror reflectivity and can withstand a low cryogenic temperature needed to preserve the methylox fuel without getting brittle. Since the Starship will be subject to extremely high and low temperatures during its voyage, not just once, but continuously, it makes sense that SpaceX chose stainless steel as its material of choice. If you take a closer look at the body of the Starship, you can see lines of steel around the diameter of the ship all the way down to the rocket. Well, it's not for aesthetics, it's simply the 1.8 meter of standard roll of commercially made steel, and although the variant of steel being used is the 301 steel which comprises nickel, chromium and iron, Musk has hinted at possibly using 304L variant. The 304L has a higher chromium content and is likely to bear heavier loads, and is less likely to corrode at varying temperatures. Elon Musk is all about efficiency and productivity, but when it came to the shape of the Starship, the billionaire decided to go the comedic route. In an interview with podcast host Joe Rogan, Musk revealed he had seen the movie The Dictator, where the dictator instructed his engineers to make his rocket more pointy, to strike fear into the hearts of his enemies. Well, Musk took that to heart and told his engineers he wanted his Starship pointier. They all thought it was funny and decided to run with it. Fun fact about a pointy spaceship, it's not aerodynamically advised. Musk also revealed it's actually a bit worse to have a pointy spacecraft, but hey, since it's funny, I guess we'll all just have to smile along. The Rockets, Fuel and Landing Gear 
The reusable nature intended by Musk for the Starship places emphasis on the rocket being able to land safely and in one piece without burning up on re-entry. This is a gigantic feat in space travel, which usually features safe crash landing methods upon re-entry. Due to the relatively large build of the Starship, space engineers have adopted an ingenious feature into the Starship by including flaps in its design build. These flaps are extended upon re-entry into what is called the belly flop maneuver. It uses the Earth's atmosphere to create a form of drag to reduce the rocket's overall speed, thereby slowing its descent. This method requires much less fuel than SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, which uses thrusters to reduce speed and requires a huge portion of the overall fuel in its rockets. The Starship has incorporated the use of Tesla's battery packs up in its nose cone to control the actuators and extend and retract the flaps. The batteries are reusable, which further lessens the need for more fuel and decreases the overall weight of the rocket. On the matter of fuel, the spaceship fuel compartment is located below the nose and right above the booster engines. SpaceX pushes their flair for the unconventional a bit further on their choice of fuel, while NASA's choice of fuel for space exploration is liquid hydrogen, which is highly efficient in combination with liquid oxygen, the Starship uses liquid methane instead in combination with liquid oxygen. This fuel choice was due to the fact that a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen burns clean after use, which is most effective for tanks intended for reuse. The fuel combination is also less dense and has more balance compared to conventional rocket fuel and is also less weighty. This fuel choice is remarkably convenient with a discovery of ice on the surface of Mars. This is suitable because ice can be converted to methane, using a little science geek method called the Sabatier process. Just imagine having a fuel source right there on the red planet. This could change the designs of future rockets by substituting fuel space for more passenger living area on the rocket. Exciting, right? Alright guys, you know what time it is. We'll tell you a super freaky science fact, and if it freaks you out, you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. There are more different possible chess game variations, 10 to the power of 120, than there are atoms in the observable universe, 10 to the power of 80. Checkmate. Mate. Did that blow your mind? Of course it did! Now smash the like and subscribe buttons. Passenger Area and Cargo Bay The nose cone at the top of the Starship carries the payload compartment. It houses the passengers and crew quarters, which are capable of holding up to 100 persons per flight. Musk stated in an interview that the Starship could convey as many as 300 people if they were cramped to 2 to 4 persons per cabin, but that would be for a future trip. The cargo bay and storage area are also located at the nose, where all the food, equipment and spacesuits for all its passengers are to be stored. Common areas for relaxation and exercise are also part of the nose cone, with reinforced glass walls that allow passengers a view of space in its gallery format. Gym equipment for exercise are all present and mounted to the walls for stability, to restrict movement and dislocation, and also to enable usage of zero gravity. Protective shelter in the rare case of cancer-causing solar storms that irradiate from the sun is also made available. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Let us know what you think about Starship in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao!